this beautiful girl you all may recognise is Danny Venn, who almost took out the <laughs> crown in MasterChef's latest series. How are you, Danny? I'm really well. I'm so excited to be here, to be part of Starlight's new campaign. It's so exciting and I'm just really happy to be on board. Oh, well, it's wonderful that you can. Now, Danny, not everybody can cook as well as you. And I know that you're not a trained <laughs> chef per se, but obviously you're pretty good. I'm a home cook, just like everyone else. Okay, so. well, the thing is, with this easy stir fry, um, and certainly with helping to serve up a smile for the Starlight Children's Foundation, if you can cook, you can get on board. Yeah, it's so easy. I mean, you don't even, you don't have to be a fancy chef to be part of this campaign. If you can just maybe boil an egg or, I mean, even if you can't, if you can put some Vegemite on toast, you can still cook, you or can still support it. A stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do a stir fry, which is so easy. It's so simple. So Danny, take us through what you've got here. Okay, so I've got some really simple ingredients some beef strips that I've marinated in and just a little bit of soy sauce and some corn flour, but you mm -hmm. could add some garlic, sugar, whatever you want to that. Okay. Some broccoli and some snow peas. Mm -hmm. And this is just a little mixture of oyster sauce and sesame oil. Okay. And this is just some veggie oil and some water, which we'll use when we're cooking. Tell me, because I must admit, I thought with a stir fry that there's heaps more sauces and that's, that's what daunts me. But obviously this is not, this is quite easy. Well, you don't need to have a lot of sauces. You can buy the pre-mixed marinades that do are quite sauce heavy from the yeah, supermarket. You don't need to. But you don't need to. I mean, mm. you can add a little bit more oyster sauce than this, but it's pretty simple. It's pretty Great. straightforward. All right, well, let's go over to the wok and do it. Okay. The main. One of the most important things when cooking with a wok is that the wok is really, really hot. And sometimes if you don't have really powerful gas, you can even put the wok, if it has a steel handle, in the oven to try and heat it up. So having a really hot wok is really important because you need to cook really hard and fast. So with the wok, when you start, you always deglaze the wok with hot oil. I mean oil, which then is hot. And see how it's nice and smoky? You want that. You want it to be really nice and smoky. Because when we add this beef, another really important thing when you're cooking with a wok is that you can constantly move And that has literally taken about one minute to cook, hasn't it? Not even. So you can see that there's some nice caramelisation mm. on the beef. And all of that, that's fine, that's just flavour that's yeah. not burnt. Yep. So now, when we're cooking the vegetables, I always add some water. So this is just the oyster sauce and the sesame oil. Now this gives the, the broccoli the best mm. coating of flavour. Mm. It's so yummy. And the, the flour has come off the beef a little bit and making the sauce yeah, a little bit so thick. Yeah, make it nice and thick. So at the moment there's quite a little bit of sauce in there, maybe a little bit too much. But what you can do as well, you can always with like a bamboo steamer lid or just any lid, just put it on and it just steams the mm. vegetables a little bit more. At this point, you just add the beef again. Ooh, one flies out. So you can see now that the sauce is getting a bit thicker. Yep. And what you can do, which is an, another sort of old Chinese trick when stir frying if you want a thicker sauce, is you get a little bit of corn flour, a little bit of water, make a little slurry, and then just add that in if you want a really thick sauce. But some people don't like thick sauces. Yeah. And it's better with rice anyway to have it a little bit thin. Yeah. So as you can see, this is pretty much done. Beautiful. It's pretty easy. You can add other seasonings, you can put some salt in it, you can add fish sauce, you can have more garlic, anything you want. It's so easy. Mm. I mean, this is healthy, delicious, and feeds the kids within five minutes. Yes, absolutely. And you don't need to be scared of, of the, the heat of the wok. As long as you keep things moving, it's all about temperature control. Yep. That looks absolutely delicious. 
Um, thank you so much. This is one of our most requested things. So <laughs> this, I can't, I literally cannot believe it took less than six minutes. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. It's so easy, it's so healthy, and you can use anything that you want. Any chicken, lamb, beef, any veggies. Yeah, I think that's part of a fear that we all have to get over is just not being locked into something yeah, and just, just going for it. Just go for it, have a go. <laughs> if you muck it up, do it again. But. Once you master the walk, you'll never go back because it's so easy, it's so quick. Excellent. And it's healthy. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Thanks, Thanks Danny. Danny.